Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum and warmly welcome you on HM Tech Solutions uh, official YouTube channel. Today we work on Motorola VZ series. Uh, this is the handheld radio as you can see. So uh, we check what is the problem in this radio. So look this. Rotate the volume switch to switch on the radio but you can see here, here is nothing as you can see so this radio is not working switch again but nothing this radio is not working so let's start the video but before start the video please subscribe our channel like share comment and must press the bell icon to watch more videos like this so let's start the video uh, at first uh, remove the battery of this radio and as you can see put this battery here and uh, pull up the knobs of uh, this radio with the help of uh, flat secure driver as you can see put this like this look this so put this knobs here and uh, with the key open the these all these three nuts with the help of this key look this at first open this one and this one and now you can this antenna nut you can open with the help of key as you can see so I have opened all the screws and uh, support the front cover and uh, this uh, main board so as you can see look this look and watch this carefully what is the problem at first so check these three points first I think the problem with these points I, I think so check these points up and also check the this son of switch with the help of meter you can check this so at first rotate this letter switch to set the meter here and now you can check this switch from here oh yes this is working yes this is working perfectly well right. so uh, at first we solder these uh, power jacks then see let's see what is the problem if this board is not working so first of all solder all these three points first so at first I solder all three points first As you can see, solder all these three points carefully. As you can see, uh, 
the solder rays, three points, and uh, also solder the this on a plus volume switch must solder. Mostly we noticed minor faults uh, in the radios, mostly like soldering, dry soldering or disconnection, something else like that. Mostly there are few small problems. So we clean this as usual with the motherboard cleaner, apply a little bit motherboard cleaner on the brush and clean this. Board. like this look look now this board is shining uh, the purpose to clean this board, remove all the stains and uh, water damages and other like corrosions, all the things removed and then you can observe easily if any dry sole or any other problem, then you can see easily. So we clean this board and uh, wait a moment to dry this board. Now this board is dry and again with the brush you can clean this. Now you can see, look this, this is shining now, look the shine. So uh, attach this connector strip here. Push this here in the slot and press this lock. So now attach the power supply terminal here on the board. So and to take the switch to switch on the radio so as you can see this radio is on now so this is working now oh the problem was in the power jacks so this radio is ready now this board is red, uh, ready so put this board here on the chassis and push this over here at first as you can see remove this strip again and put this here and at first now this fix this rubber of hands free jack and press this here as you can see now tighten all the screws tighten all the screws carefully look like this so put this point here fix this here like this as you can see and most carefully check all the screws uh, fixed now now you solder 
here on the empty net connector first. Look, this is the empty net connector pin. Solder this one carefully. So, yes. Now, now fix the this. We fix this gasket here. This one. So, look this. These are the points to fix this. If I can show you. So, insert these small points here in the holes and fix this gasket like this as you can see look so the gasket has been fixed now again insert this strip here in the drive look open this strip and now look the strip is fixed now push this log push this log from here now now you can push this one here on the antenna connector and now look you can fix all the now we have fixed this uh, front cover now this battery cover here at first tight these two screws here Look. Here. Use this circuit driver here and you tie it, you can tie this like this. Okay, now And now we can touch these two bottom screws. Now again the second one. Again tight this one. Now this is tight. And now we can push put this here. That will not. Oh yes. Tight this one a little bit more. And now as you can see now this is fixed. So Put these two nuts here, skews, tight the skews here, so now here two more skews you can tight here, look here. And one is here, so you can tie this one is here. Like this. And this the sticker here. Look. Look this. 
now fix this and pin a nut here Must use this key to fix this nut. With the help of this key, you can tie this nut easily. So, fix these two nuts. Channel switch. Tighten this nut first, and now this one. On off and volume switch rotate clockwise to tight these all the nuts. So put this knob, this is volume plus on off knob, put this here and push down, and again this is the channel switch knob. This is bigger than volume knob. So put this here over here and push this down so this is ready and now attach the battery with this radio and take the volume knob to switch on the radio now you can list this is on now as you can see this radio is on now so check this radio with an other radio wait a moment now check this radio with this one so rotate the volume switch to on this radio and now look at this 145 is the frequency over here on the dial you can see the noise and push this one so uh, this radio is ready to use and okay now so if you like our videos and want to watch our videos, please subscribe our channel, like, share, comment and must press the bell icon to watch more videos like this. We welcome your feedback in the comment box and uh, must press the bell icon to watch more videos like this. And till next, keep watching our channel. Allah Hafiz.